What's up, guys? How you doing today? Welcome here to Cornell Adventures. Thanks for joining us on Game Kings Gaming. So today we got a new project that we're starting, and uh, I have to pick up some new equipment. So let's get started. What do you say? All right. So the crazy thing was that I had a, I had already cut down these. Um, these trees that I have and I need to uh, what happened was <laughs> I cut the trees down and realized that oh man I'm missing some equipment so uh, we have to purchase a bobtail and a trailer to pick the uh, bobtail up here um, I, 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 I didn't need the trailer I just I wanted one so we got a new one it's a better one so here's the area this is, a, this is the wood I cut down and uh, the trees I cut down and then I'm gonna have to cut it into smaller logs so we can get it on our log trailer and mainly what we need the bobcat for over here is those tree stumps uh, we're gonna have to grind those tree stumps down because we're gonna be putting concrete in right over here so we can expand our driveway so it's easier to get in and out with our tractor trailers and our equipment so yeah let's get started and we're gonna have to go pick our equipment up okay so um, yeah and we also we got a couple more things right here I'll, I can show you up but uh yeah so here's a, a tree dip rancher and then there's our uh, log truck so uh, pretty easy uh but yeah i'm excited to use our tree deep rancher uh and uh, our fancy schmancy new log truck right there john deere but um yeah what do you say yeah this is gonna be fun man so yeah all you do is pick the uh, uh the trees up with that big huge claw you put it right in the center of that big yellow thing and then you basically just pull the pull the tree right through and it rips all the branches off for you man it makes it super easy so you can't wait to use that thing it looks awesome but uh all right so i think we'll take our kit over there uh, and get one to get this bad boy out and she needs some work she needs some work all right she's just sitting here pretty all the time here working all right, park this here, shut her down. We'll get in our KW. All right. Ain't she pretty, guys? Ain't she pretty? Ah, oh, she's so nice. It's so gangster. It's just a nice drug, man. All right. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> uh, farming some physics for you. All right, come on. Here we go. Ah, oh, she sure is nice, man. Nice little bobtail. Uh, clean in the inside. This is a KW, man. Life for luxury. Alright. Let's make our way over to... We'll go over to the dealership. And... We'll, uh, we'll go get our equipment. But, uh... I've been thinking about taking a vacay here pretty soon, too, man. Maybe we should go hit, uh, hit up one of the campsites take one of our boats out, or the jet ski, or maybe take the fifth wheel out and some quads. I don't know, man. Uh, I've been dying to get out and uh, have some fun, man. What do you guys think? You guys, maybe you guys want to join me. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool. Get out here, and go out on the river. Alright, so... But yeah, so actually, and there's another spot over here. I was thinking about um, for our uh, service road here, because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Some of these uh, turns are very sharp, um, there's a lot of trees. Um, so I've been thinking about expanding our project a little bit and possibly cutting down some of these trees here around these turns. Uh, we need to mow it um, just to make it a little more accessible and a little easier to get see on the road here and then uh, you see some of these trees like that one that one that one uh probably that one you could probably cut those down and get rid of them and uh make it a little easier on ourselves to get to and from uh I don't know this service road here because it like I said there's a lot of these are some tight turns and when you're with the uh trailer you know so you've got a tractor trailer it can be difficult to get in and out and you know we just want to make it easy on our guys, so this uh, ways here is good, right? Right, dealership is right here to the left. So we'll turn here. 
All right, we're here, guys. And there's our trailer and our bobcat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that thing looks so awesome. <laughs> Man, that's it. All right, back this bad boy up. Hook up and get our uh, equipment loaded here and get, uh, get back. Get our project like started for four finish. Alright, let's back up here. <laughs> I was gonna try to back up, but I couldn't see out that back of the so Alright, All right. back up this way. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, she looks nice, doesn't she? Nice trailer, man. And also, the cool thing is these back wheels, they rotate uh, automatically. It's, it's like self-adjusting. So when you turn and go around tight turns, they they, they help quite a bit. Um, it should be easier to go around around turns and everything with this trailer. It's part of the reason why I bought it. It's a, it's a pretty nice trailer. But, uh, all right. Oh, this looks so cool. All right, so uh, we're going to load the pallet. So this tool is for pallets. Uh, we gotta load up these accessories, tie it down, and get this tied down, our bobcat, and oh. Alright. Let's get this bad boy up here. Alright. Put it up there. I wonder, do these have? Okay, yeah. There's. Okay, I wasn't sure if there were uh, tie-ons up there, so I wanted to make sure before I set these up there, that it has somewhere to uh, tie into place. Drop it down. Oh, wrong way. No, 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 no. There we go. All right. So, so a little bit more. That should be good. Drop that. We'll get out. And we'll see. Use our kitchen bell line. Here we go. All right. Okay. Let's get our next tool. So, what a beautiful day, guys, here in Cornella. Thank you again for joining us. It's a beautiful day here. What are we gonna look at? Do we the bucket or the? I think I'm just gonna do the. Yeah, let's just do the stump grinding. Right We'll do the stump grinder, and then we'll do the bucket blast. So, alright. Alright, now let's get this back up there. Make sure we tie this down, and then one more to go, and we're golden. Alright. There was uh, also another... Um, there's another couple buildings um, that's uh, on the other side of town. Uh, we'll have to, maybe we'll do that in another episode. But uh, they're abandoned. And I was thinking about purchasing the also the land and the buildings that uh, uh, the land the buildings on, so we can maybe um, put a second shop like on the other side of town. And make it a little, I don't know, easier than what we get for our, uh, our road calls. Uh, a little, you know, a little less distance, a little less time to have to spend uh, getting to you know, places. If I can just call over to, you know, one of our guys on the other side of town and you know, send them over a bit closer, then it would only you know, make sense to uh, just do that. But I don't know. We got, like I said, we got a lot of work ahead of us. We got a lot of stuff to do with our solution first. Uh, I just figured I could give you a heads up and let you guys know some future future things in the hand that we have here for Cornell Adventures. And also, uh, I think we're going to be starting this map in FS22. So please continue joining in, guys, to um, see more of our, uh, our content. Uh, let's get this. You know what? I'm not even gonna disconnect this. I'll just I'll just leave it connected. We can just drop it all down like this right here. Uh, that should be good. And then, uh, yeah. I mean, we don't have very far to go. Huh? It should be fine. It should be fine. All right. 
So let's see. Let's double check. I want to make sure where the tension belts are at. I want to get to make sure there's at least a couple on here. There's one. Oh, wait, nope, too far. Where's the other one? There's two. All right, that one isn't doing anything. Then. I think I'm gonna move it up a little bit because I want to use that that tension uh, strap on right here on the bucket. So then that way I got three good straps tying this thing down and it down. Like I said, we don't have far to go, so I just want to make sure that uh, we don't lose it on the on the way back. See, yeah, there we go, much better. All right, this thing ain't going nowhere. We're good. All right, what do you think, guys? <laughs> that thing is awesome, man. I'm excited to use that thing. <laughs> All right. Let's get this bad boy going. Back to the casa. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep this truck rolling. All right, let's go. Oh, what a beautiful day, guys. Check that out, man. Can't beat that, man. Sun going down here. 1854. So what's that? It's about uh, um, like five or six o'clock, I think. So uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. What a day. What a day. So maybe we'll get this back here. We'll get our equipment. See, notice how the trailer. Oh, I'm interrupting myself. But you guys notice how the trailer kind of just hold itself into the lane and it's, it's pretty cool man this trailer is awesome so it, it does a lot of the um, it's like a smart trailer I think of like that smart trailer so it does a lot of the work for you, you know, it makes, it, makes it easy on our on our drivers and you know any, anything that makes our you know our guys life a little easier then why not see and this is what I was talking about those trees need to be cut there this road is very small and a lot of times i have to take up both lanes uh oh like i said magic <laughs> all right but yeah so this truck it takes up both lanes and most of the pickups if i got a trailer um, i might be able to take up both of these lanes and get in this uh you know, watch service station so um should i park this here can i just leave this here where all of our, our, our stuff is at Wait, you know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna park it over there. We'll bring the, um, after we figure out where we're gonna get our bobtail, like where we'll park it, we'll bring it all back. Well, this other stuff. But, um, because we're not gonna do the project right now. We're just, we're just getting the equipment here so we can, you know, just really like start the project. And that, that, that it'll be another episode where we're gonna, we're gonna do, uh, where we're going you know, to start that project and, and uh, get our video and we'll, we'll try to finish it in, uh, in one. And if not, we'll probably do it in a couple episodes. But don't worry, guys. We'll, uh, we'll get it going. All right. Let's undo these. Unstrap this bad boy and let's figure out what we want to do with it here. All right. Undo this strap and one more. Okay. Uh, I need to... Lower that. All right. Okay, we should be good. All right. Let's lower our trailer, and then I wonder where we should put the bobtail. Should I put it over here. Hmm. I don't know where I want to put it. Huh. That's a good question. And that's another thing I wanted to do is build a small, another small building here where we can put some smaller. Um, um, tools and, and, uh, and things because we have some of our quads and, and um, some of our equipment is in some rooms that are a little smaller than you know they probably should be in so I think it'd probably be a good idea to, for us to put up um, a permanent building a structure to you know house some of these uh, some of this equipment and accessories. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing right over here and. Uh, Right. Should I put it in here? No. Oh my, this is where I feel we 
have our fuel uh, right here. Well, some of it. Uh, our extra fuel storage. Those rooms are full. You know what? I think I'm just gonna put put this up here. The accessories up here for right now. Park it over here just because we're gonna be the the So, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna it uh, here. Or at least I put it. But until we can figure out like a better place or until we put up a small little structure so we can house this bad boy. And then, well, they're not the fastest, but they're hard little workers, the Bobcats, and, and uh, they're really nice. They make the job really easy, and I don't know why we didn't have get one of these before. Uh, I know we borrowed one from one of our buddies. And, uh, it was really nice, except his was a cat. He was a cat for uh, their little bob, uh, their little Bobcats, so uh, I figured. No, I'm just gonna get a bobcat. I don't want to get this version. Alright. So, and there is also one that has um, wheels instead of the tracks, but um, I think the tracks, you know, I don't know, I think it's a little safer. Uh, I think they're not gonna get stuck as easy. Uh, there's a little more power for some reason, and the engine's a little bit more powerful, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but that's why I got uh, this bobcat. So, uh, alright, we'll drop this, our little pallet jack over right there, and uh, we can go, go over there. Right. I don't know, I'm thinking about parking it right over there by the trees. I'll get to get the tree, the stump grinder, and then um, maybe just park it over there, because I'm going to need it over there for my project, so what would be the point of parking it over here, right? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Right. Now we need our stump grinder. Oh boy. Alright. There she is. Alright. One moss. One moss. Yeah, this thing's nice, man. I like this little thing. It's so cool. <laughs> Definitely excited to uh, get this project started. We need to do this like ASAP. ASAP. As soon as possible. <laughs> because we have to, it's been a nightmare trying to get some of our equipment in with our trailers. <laughs> All right, this should be good. This should be good until uh, until we get this project started. I mean, all right. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have to cut these logs smaller and grind those stumps down and uh, and uh, get the logs out of here. I don't know if we're gonna save the logs for firewood or if we're just gonna sell them. Um, I don't know. I have to think about it. We don't necessarily really need the money, but um, I don't know. I'll get all the we'll this trailer bag, tractor, and it should be good. All right. See, and I just pulled these. Oh, and as you can see, guys, I got a couple of trailers, a couple of uh, livestock trailers. So, uh, because we're gonna be starting, um, we're gonna be get, get, getting, uh, we're gonna be getting some sheep and some pigs. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we're gonna do cattle yet. There's a lot involved with that, and with all the silage, and, uh, TMR. I don't know if if I want to get started with that right now. I think it's just to do some pigs and some sheep. Uh, we have some chickens, so we already got them going. But yeah, I think pigs and sheep, maybe we'll just start with sheep. I don't know, what do you guys think? 
but uh, I got the livestock trailers. They're brand new, as you can see. They're running right in front of me. Yeah, they're pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. All nice and chrome and pretty. Oh, don't want to find that. Trailer dude. Alright. <clears throat> that should be good right there. And then we'll go park our KW. W9. W9. Hey guys, and again, I would really like to just tell you that I appreciate you. Wildlands County. It's always fun having you guys here. Thank you guys for joining us. And our fire department. Stay tuned in for our fire department episodes also. And pretty soon we're going to be moving this here to Farming Sim 22. So it's even better, guys. Better graphics, better everything. But, um, yeah. Alright. So, uh. Hey, guys, check it out. Got the jet ski, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, like I said, we're gonna have to go out on a glamping trip and uh, go out and go enjoy some fun. Not worry about anything for a while, guys. But, hey. Again, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you haven't already, turn on notifications if you uh, want to see more content, uh, content from me. And remember, guys, take it easy. I appreciate you all the time. And as always, stay classy, my friends.